All right, there we go. This year's goal is technically completed. Um, yesterday, I got R2 on his feet. Did it by myself, which was a pain in the neck. Involved flipping him up upside down because I forgot to attach the battery boxes when I had him on a box. Had some issues with the center foot because um, there's bolts that go down and secure it. The bolts screw into the ankle under there um, with some captured square nuts. And I put hot glue in to secure the square nuts so they wouldn't fall out, but I didn't put enough glue to hold them in the proper position. So because the ankle itself is angled backwards, the square nuts were, <clears throat> gravity was making them fall down to the point where when I put the bolts in, they were screwing in, but they weren't going through the center of the nut. They were just hitting the edge of the nut. So they seemed like they were screwing in, but if you pulled on them, they just came right back out. So I had to take the ankle off and dig out the hot glue that was in there, put additional hot glue while having the bolts in the square nuts to hold them in the right spot and that worked for a couple of them but a couple of the others I still had an issue with um, but I managed to put those towards the back so that the nuts kind of fell back into place and was able to attach it <clears throat> but that's uh, something to keep in mind because I think I've done that in several places where I used hot glue in places where you put the captive square nuts but I didn't actually put a nut through, or a bolt through the square nut, and then put the glue in to make sure that the nut is held in place and not just held so it doesn't come out of the slot. Uh, battery boxes on and okay. Um, I threw the parts on here just to get them out of the plastic bins in the garage where they were. It's going to get cold this winter and didn't want them out there while it was freezing outside. So obviously I need to do the details in here. I'm planning on painting the inside of that silver, or sorry, metallic. Didn't get a chance to do it. Um, also the bit of the horseshoe in that indentation silver which I didn't get around to. Um, I've started working on um, smoothing the booster covers here but they're by no means ready yet to be painted blue but again brought them in put them on to keep them out of the bin they were out in the cold garage um, battery box hoses in place. Uh, as Jason uh, Charlton sent me a comment in my previous video about them and I noticed when I was putting them on the same thing he mentioned which is the hoses inside these are fairly um, stiff fairly rigid hoses so this kind of tight radius bend here um, you find that these ends of the uh, hose ends although they're held in place with the magnets they are exerting pressure this way because the hose wants to be more straight even though I gave it a good bend once I noticed it to try to add some bend to relieve the tension but they do tend to have tension on the plugs that go into the battery boxes. Uh, Jason Charlton in previous video commented that he had some shear off um, due to that tension. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, if it happens, I'll probably print them again. The part right there that screws into the battery box. I'll probably do those again in PETG with a lot of um, perimeters 
to make them stronger. Um, everything else seems to be okay. I have no power, but <clears throat> he does. He does roll, so that's good. Um, I noticed on the carpet that his bottom of his feet are pretty much touching the carpet because of the just of the weight without any batteries or electronics or the dome the weight is enough to sink the wheels into the carpet pretty much right up to the foot shells so that was something I was a little bit surprised at so yeah um, nothing else new past the other videos other than the fact that He's now on his feet, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do next exactly. I'm so relieved to have this done, and the weather is not good for painting, so I'm not sure whether I need to start the electronics, which stinks in a bit, in a way, because it's, it involves spending a lot of money, or... Maybe I could, even though it's cold out, continue some sanding and prep work. Um, the doors, I haven't even done a rough sanding, much less any filler or primer. Um, so there's always that. Same with some of the greebles. The coin returns, um, I have started to work on but the octagon port pieces I haven't done anything with and the what are they the the other one I can never remember the name of the power coupler one it has the circle in the center that one I haven't done any work on so there's plenty of stuff that I could be working on along with the actual dome um, I could start sanding on the dome I also can get my Lazy Susan out and attach the Lazy Susan and then maybe lay the um, dome ring over the top of it just to see how things are, are lining up with that. But yeah, main point of this video was to show that he is now on his feet. This is the place where I had always planned on him living this little corner here next to our entertainment center and TV which he does fit in um, I have not measured from the outside of the foot shell to the outside of the foot shell to see if he would have fit through the door in my um, project room he is awful wide so I'm not sure if he would have in fact, I don't know if he'll fit out the front door for sure, but uh, just another thing to be wary of if you're making one of these. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say, other than woohoo. Look at that. Um, sacrilegious, I know, but I'm halfway tempted to throw a garbage bag in there. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so he's... I don't know, just as a joke, so we can serve some kind of a purpose other than a, a headless horseman uh, droid at the moment, which I guess for Halloween is kind of fitting. But yeah, pretty pleased with that.